me. Don't ruin it. Please, just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead is all I have. Play with me. Play with me. Oh, oh! What? What the f was that? This is what I'm talking about. You y'all be like, Blazy, where's the Doki Doki at? We need to see the ending. Why is my game missing me? This is in Detroit become f it. What? Good job. Welcome back. <laughs> Let's finish Doki Doki so we can play some other games. Why is this the only file available? All right, so look, y'all. I know last time y'all was like, Belize, you spread past all the conversations. So let's read the history, right? We'll go back as far as it can right here. Okay, so it was just a conversation with Monica. We already read this, though. Um, sorry, y'all. <laughs> I, I, I know I spam clicked that whole last conversation between Natsuki and Yuri, but honestly, I don't care. It was weird. It was making a lot of noises. Y'all play it yourself. Show me thumbs it down in the video talking about. I can't be merged with you if you skip it. Well, sorry. Think about the. Uh, I'm, nah, I can't be saying all of that. I apologize. I'm gonna do better. <laughs> no excuses. I'm gonna just do better. All right. So let's see here. Sugar. Happiness. I'm gonna turn it up too. F it is daytime now. I'm ready. I can do it. Ah, uh, sensation. Love. Cute bubbles embrace games breathe whisper lust mouse puppy electricity what melody I don't know what any of these oh! I don't even know why I clicked that thinking that it could have been a little a little friendly. Whoo, that's a, that shit shivers down my body. Big shivers, big shivers. And another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Brilizi. Yuri, what what's going on with you, man? Uh hi Yuri. Hi Yuri Tit. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Uh, um. Yuri glances over his shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk, and surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. Why are you pulling me towards the closet, though? Like, pull me towards the front of the room where everyone can see me. Don't drag me in here. I'm not. I'm not R. Kelly. About yesterday. I, I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well, forgive her. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considering and apologized. You don't, have, you don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was just off yesterday. And maybe we're all just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. How do you already decide that and it's the second day? You don't know her. It's been a full 48 hours and you think she... And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Ah, uh, Belize. Don't say those kind of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy down there. <laughs> well... I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person, and I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little brighter with you around, and uh, 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 sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh, no, I, I haven't, Natsuki. Back up a little bit. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either? Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. Oh, because they got beef still. Okay. Good Lord Almighty, what are you eating? I know what you're drinking. 
Why did I just say I know what you're drinking? What I meant by that was she was drinking milk, but you don't drink milk and grow breasts unless you're a man. Watch the milk intake, y'all, seriously. No, I, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Huh? Huh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries so much about the little things, aren't you? Who, who, who did this to the text? Like, like developer, whoever you are, why did you put the, the shadow on the text like that during certain phrases? But, but, I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I don't, I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. H hey, man. Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Uh, well, Natsuki was. I, I was not. <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Ah, uh, well, my last period today was steady. I didn't know where she was going with that sentence. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Monica's sweating and lying and shit. Look at that big-ass sweat drop on from her... Bro, come on, press her. Uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good at it. Still... That must require a lot of dedication, so I'm still impressed. Ah, well, well, thank you, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Ha ha ha, that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. It sounds cool. I look forward to it. It's just so. In that case, I won't let you down, Berlizzi. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or, or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thank you. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. What the f oh, hold on. I'm like, hold on, MacBook. Don't get involved in this. In this. For your files end up to... Hold on, let me respond to the sex. Sorry, everyone. N not, not really, no. I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. Berlizzi? Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. Okay! Okay! I'm like, when is it gonna get more action-packed? Because I'm like, and by action, I don't mean, I don't mean, um, I don't mean, um, 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 punch commands. I mean, thrust commands. I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Oh, I suppose so. I thought you meant at my house. I, I don't think I could say no to you after you gave that book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine! She's reading over there, see? Don't think about her so much. Oh my gosh. She's used to being ignored. Whoa, what does that mean? Come on, we're going over there. What is that, like a demon pos possessing her and like her voice get deep or some shit? No, no. No, I'm no, no, no. What's the story about anyway? Well, mm -hmm. I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Marco. I thought that said Portrait of Monkey. I'm like, so they know I'm black. Let me chill though. 
There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. The Illumined. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison, and the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. This is not the same game. What is what is this turning into? Yuri, this wasn't you before. I I'm still immersed. <laughs> but the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to uh Oh, that might be a bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I I'm really into it. The book, I mean. N not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... It's, it's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came out of nowhere. This whole game is a dark turn out of nowhere. Ah, uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Berlizzi? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I, I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and recluse on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story is the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway, what the fuck? Then suddenly... I I'm okay. Come on, Mike. Let's take a few steps back again. Here we are. I I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. Phone. Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. Yeah, I'll say. When I let things like books and writings fill my thoughts. She said her whole body does what? She's turned on by, 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 okay, okay. So she a freak. She, she a demon freak. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And, and please stop me if I start talking too much. That's, I really don't think you need to worry. It just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah, uh, that's, well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? <laughs> yes. I mean, you don't have to, but... <laughs> what, are you, what are you saying? Let me, let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright. It's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little weird, bitch. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just let me... Just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, all right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe she smell good? Maybe her titties are on my arm, my, on my back? I don't know, maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Okay, cool. S sorry I was just bathing in the feeling of what? What? Huh? Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I've only been doing this for 15 minutes. I, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I Damn, what's going on up here? I mean... <laughs> here, this should work, right? I slid my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so in I instead, I use my right... Huh? So he, so he's... They're right here, and he goes... No, 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 they're right here, right? Like, the shoulder to shoulder, right? And then he goes... It's fucking weird. Oh, okay, I'm about to say, like, what? 
Uh, I, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here, Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Okay. Ah, uh, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. So, so, so they're still shoulder to shoulder. Dude, go like this. <laughs> go like this. Go like this. You gotta do it. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Huh? To turn the page. Uh, oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. Oh, she's looking at me. She's glancing at me. I'm not even finna look at that, though. I glance over at Yuri's face and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. Damn, I keep putting you on, on quiet mode. It's probably the least I can do since you've been so patient with me. Y yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she's finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her as, let, <laughs> as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Huh? <laughs> No, I, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and, and all that. Uh, 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 that's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? N never mind. We, don't, we didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> Eerie, are you feeling all right? Uh, Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... M my breathing? Yuri puts her hand on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Prelegi? Did something happen just now? Huh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say that I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. What? N no, nothing. What are you thinking? <laughs> don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Whatever. Anyway... Why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Huh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we start without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up, I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Who should I show my poem to first? Well, Monica's standing right in front of me with that hot-ass breath. <sighs> Hi again, Belichi! How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that, as long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with the masterpiece. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, take it. I give my poem to Monica. All right. Great job, Relishi. I was going, oh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. That is a Verlizzi blueprint. To, to a lot of things, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean it in, I mean, I don't mean it like it's a bad thing, though. No. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. 
she must really be starved for social interaction. So don't blame her for coming up on for coming on a little strongly, like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and like and looking for a long time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing poems with each other. Huh? Already? I I'm so sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm, I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. All right. Thank you, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. Let me read it from back here. These poems could get weird. The colors, they won't. Bright, B8 of colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, and endless. Cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise you won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Seeking, screeching, piercing, sin, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a table. Like playing a knife on a breeding ribcage. Endless. What? Huh? Delete her. The fuck? Just moving my mouse a little closer to the edge of my desk. No worries. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um, well, uh, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult de decision. Whenever that happens, don't forget to save your game. Wow, say less. <laughs> you never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. What the f Anything. Please help me. That's my advice for today. Okay, let, let me let me try and critically analyze who that what that could have been. I'm I have a feeling that that could be Sayori from the grave, from my save from my save file grave. You still stink. could be a decision. I'm gonna go with uh, 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 Yuri. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. Really? Uh, I mean, the poem turned out good. It's, uh, well, there are some things that you could work on, but that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. <laughs> that came out a little awkward. L let's move on. Here's a poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Wheel. Oh God. A rotating wheel turning on axle brinding. Ball head, linear gear, falling sky, seven holy stakes. Huh? Uh, no, I'm not finna read it, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y'all, y'all got it. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it, what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Ah, that is, a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for sake of keeping it. And I um. I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm okay. What, what did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, da, 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 uh, uh. Hey Natsuki, I'm back in front of my desk. Hmm. Well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. 
Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. And just like that, I'm scooting back. Belize, why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick freak. No, sir. Look at look at her. What's going on with what's going on with Nasu? That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead, okay? You don't hate me, Belize, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please, just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me. Oh, oh! So, um, I thought maybe if I read it in the voice it intended, it would make me less scared. Still got me. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Yes. I'm gonna back up. Today, today I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I thought I understood how it feels now. I'm supposed to be the responsible one, so I don't think I'll be doing it in, unless I decide to kill myself. I left the momentum on the, of the occasion below. Huh? 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 Look at my cursor. Look at my cursor. Look at my fucking cursor. <sighs> okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something special. We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together any good, any good, anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Perlisi joined and we started some uh, club activities. But this isn't the, the time for us to be complacent. We still only have four members. And the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Not Shuki. I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a, a place where people can express themselves like they can do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. Our voices crack. So that's why everyone should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Berlisi? Um. Oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Berlisi to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. Do you really think that any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Berlisi joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Berlizzi isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like it is. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Ooh, Nasuki, ooh. Monica is clearly taken aback by Nasuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Berlizzi want to keep more members too, right? Yuri, quiet. I'm quiet. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm, I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation, um, no. Now, Shuki's right, isn't she? This club, it's nothing more than, just, than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Belize. Why did you even join this club? 
What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, it's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even going given a choice to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What is starting this club was a mistake. Now you've done it, Natsuki. What, what, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just, I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't, there aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take that away from me. She's not taking anything away. N no, Berlizzi. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out the classroom. Well, Natsuki, you're clapped. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. <laughs> it said, whoa. It said nobody would care if she killed herself. Okay, something wrong with Yuri, bro. <laughs> something is clearly wrong with Yuri. It's not even a scary game. It's like the fact that like all this built up, all, all uh, who developed this? Something wrong with you, dude. Something is wrong with you. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. Why did her eyeball shoot out a little bit of fake blood? What, is this gonna be real blood coming on my screen? But what about you, Berlizzi? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. <laughs> Excellent answer. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, you know, stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. What the fuck? I, I caught that. I caught that. Look! So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. All right, well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday. But I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president and also a wonderful friend. M Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever, okay? Me too. Yeah, let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay, I look forward to it. Shall we go? Shall we go? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but going to chat a little bit with Berlizzi before we leave, just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay, I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, Monica finna get f***ing weird. Monica waves as Jerry exits the classroom. Phew! Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Berlizzi, I just want to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. It's getting darker behind her. What the fuck? I feel like I'm kind of responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. 
with how mean Natsuki is and everything, and Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly got to spend any time together. Oh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. It's been three. This is the third one. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. You mean like dingling things or, or what? What do you mean? So that's why... Wait, not yet! No! Whoa! What? What the f*** is going on? I think she coming on too strong. I need to get up out this club. I'm finna go to church and get saved. I don't really think I can stay. <laughs> All right, let's just keep playing, bro. It's been 40 minutes. I'm gonna keep going. Just a little bit longer. Dance, awesome, universe, special, sing, sunny. What is going on up here, though? I see it. Can I click on them? Okay. Puppy, jumpy, milky, promise, lucky. It's not even going anywhere. Sugar, let me back up again. Vitality, climax, poof. Uh, ocean. What? Who is that down there? Ugh, what was she doing down there? Whirlwind. Did you see her little head pop up so she could get a little bit of credit from that little poem I just wrote? Hello! Hey, Berlizzi. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. <gasps> Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant, inc in, 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 incessant, uh, whatever, yelling? What are you talking about? You said it like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did something, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I, I really felt threatened or something, but I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl, girl would be nice this time. So, Natsuki, nobody cares. Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machine or something? <sighs> Yuri's a demon. I got it, Yuri's a demon. She's the only one who gets possessed when they talk like that. Natsuki's poor. I guess, I think, oh, Natsuki crying. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination, starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival too. Anyway, Berlisi, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Berlisi is already engaged in a novel that we were reading together. Aren't you, aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I, I suppose I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing I can make that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. She's finna make a smooth poison for, for Berlizzi. And he doesn't care. He doesn't even think it. He's just, he's just willy-nilly. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. Why is there tea in the closet? Why is it not right here on the shelf or on the desk? I follow and watch her as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with the filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an, electrical, an electric kettle. I'm going to, um, to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down at the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts with speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. 
Uh, I might as well walk with you. Th that, that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. She's doing some weird... Come on, Br Berlizzi. You being a real idiot right now. Picture in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Uh, did L Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like last time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? Oh my gosh. I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha! 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 The f is that noise? It's coming from around the corner. I'm not ready, and I'll guarantee this is going to be the last, the last scene for the day. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Ah! Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Whoa! Okay, what kind of game is this, y'all? At this point, I'm like, suicide, suicide, suicide notes, uh, homeless, uh, just, just, then they're all little girls, you know, it's like... Ah! I'm back! Is Yuri controlling my game file? Is that what I'm seeing? Yuri is literally controlling my game file? I'm back! Thanks for waiting patiently. Berlizzi, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. She just re she just rewinded my whole playthrough. <laughs> Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less while I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Uh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. This girl putting blood in my tea. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do, when it's you who's around anyway. Ah, uh, that's great, Yuri. Um, just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Berlizzi. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watched Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Berlizzi, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. And that's, uh, I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my, uh, uh, my, my, uh, your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes, I have terrible reading posture, so that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough, I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve the book from my bag. Ah, uh, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I sit against the wall, teacups at our side, as if in sync we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides close until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch your chest. This is such a weird boner I got. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. I don't have a boner, I'm just playing. She wears her intense reading expression and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumbled with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. Look, you can have as much as you want. Uh, that's, that's okay. I won't take any. Are you sure? Well, 
If I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. I don't like this look. I don't really like this look at all. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. What the f*** is... Oh, I, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, on. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Huh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um, Berlizzi. Sorry, I, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah... Uh, uh... Yuri starts to breathe heavily. She, she finna get horny, but, like, why are they trying to scare me when she gets horny? I... I can't... Berlizzi. Suddenly, Yuri force forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Berlizzi. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Berlizzi. Why are the lights off? I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Berlizzi? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Finally. What? Whoa, no, 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 take your hand off. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Oh my God, look at her, y'all. Look at her in the back. Huh? Look at her in the fucking back. Huh? She's looking at, bruh, I don't like that look. Huh? Oh my gosh, bro. Um, it's time to share poems. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, that's the last slot for today. Hello. I'm done for this game today. Yo, if you enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. I'm assuming we're getting closer and closer to the end. I heard this game was about eight hours. We got a good solid six in. Maybe like two more videos of this and then it's a wrap. I can't keep doing this. This, is, this isn't even scary. It's just anxiety. There's a difference because anxiety doesn't feel good. Being scared and a little bit of uh, shock does feel good. Anxiety never felt good. I'm probably finna lose hair after this. And after what I went through, I don't need to lose any more hair. Whatever, bruh. Yo, if you enjoyed this playthrough, please give it a thumbs up. Truly appreciate it. When I'm done with this game, I will start Uncharted. So we're looking at this to, to finish, then Uncharted is coming. We got more Bully, we got more Dangin', we got more Sims, we got more Doki, and we got more... God of War, sure. With that being said... <clears throat> sorry. With that being said, man, I love each and every one of you. I hate this. I can't do anything, nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now. That would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? And with that being said, I love each and every one of you. Yeah, you. You probably told me to play this, huh? And I'll see you in the next video. Have a, have a nice day. Part of grooming a dog is to clean its, its insides out. Yeah. <laughs>